Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayana. I'm a licensed massage therapist, esthetician, and spa owner. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about mobile massage safety tips. Now, this is a frequently asked question that I get a lot on my channel, which is how do you stay safe? How do you not feel scared when it comes to going to people's homes? Like, aren't you afraid of creepers? Things like that. So we're going to demystify the whole thing. This is especially gonna be for my beginners out there. And yeah, so I've learned a lot when it comes to doing mobile massage. True Massage and Body Works started out as a mobile massage company. Now we do both. We do mobile massage and we have a space, which is where I'm at right now. So let's get into these safety tips. Number one, if you are a beginner, one of the first things that I want you to do is instead of having instant bookings or even online bookings, what you can do instead is actually embed a form into your website. Now I have a video about how you can create your website. And in that video, I do talk about, you know, user-friendly platforms forms that you can use, but most website builders will allow you to create a form that you can embed into your website. So what that form is going to do is collect your leads so that they're essentially requesting to book with you. So instead of getting an instant booking with someone that you don't know, especially if you're feeling kind of hesitant about that process, you can have a form that asks for their name, their number. You can also ask for other information, perhaps why they're seeking massage, what type of service they're interested in. You can customize it. Now, if you want to do a more customized form. I would recommend using a tool called Jot Forms. It's a free tool. That's the tool that I personally use. You can also use Google Forms, put that in your website, or just use whatever form builder that comes with the website platform that you're using. I mean, even if you don't have a website, you can just use the form itself as a way of someone requesting an appointment with you. Now, when I first started, I used to use Square Appointments because it would allow people to request an appointment. I no longer use that because now people don't have to request request appointments. But if you are new to mobile massage, I highly recommend you have people request appointments because again, it'll help you vet the process and it doesn't make the booking set in stone yet until you call and confirm with that person. So that is what I would recommend as step one is getting some type of lead capture form. Again, this could be on your website or perhaps on your social media, you have a link to this form. And this is where you're going to collect information about your potential client before you actually accept the booking. So that is step one, because that allows you to first of all, see their name, number, email, the type of service that they're seeking, as well as, you know, not have them confirm the appointment quite yet. It gives you some time to vet and to also call them. Now, let's say you don't want to have clients request bookings with you and you wanna do instant bookings. Even with that strategy, you still want to have them fill out some type of intake form. And for that intake form, another thing that you can do to help with safety and to help vet that client is to have them upload a form of identification. Now, Drop Forms does have an area where you can have people upload files. So you can have them upload their ID, some Form of identification. You can also create a box that allows them to maybe link their LinkedIn so you could see, you know, like a verified profile of them. That is another option that you can do. Now on to the next safety tip. So another thing that you can do, and this is just another option, but I have seen practices that are referral only. That means that a client can only book with you if they have a referral from someone else. That is another option. But you want to keep in mind with that option, if you do a referral only business, then you need to have already established a clientele. So it's not really the best for beginners, but perhaps you are more established. Maybe you have a clientele that you're bringing with you to your new business and you want to do mobile massage, but you only want to get referrals. You can ask your current clients for referrals and that's the only way they can book with you. So that's another option that I don't see a whole lot of people talking about, but referral only businesses still exist, especially in the massage community. Now, another way that you can vet your clients is to offer some sort of client consultation. So this would include you speaking to your client over the phone. If you do a beauty service, then perhaps this is your meeting with them in person. That would not be as practical because again, you are mobile. So these are mobile tips, but the best way you can do a phone consultation is just going to be over the phone. So if you collect leads on your website, your next step is to call those leads. You can even have them choose what is the best time for me to call you for your consultation. You can include that in your form and then you call that client. And this is where you're going to learn more about their goals. This is where you're going to learn more about who they've had in the past, their experience with massage, and even learn a little bit more about them and what brings them to you. This actually creates trust on both sides. So the client themselves, they can trust you and learn more about your expertise 
expertise and what you offer and then you can learn to trust them because you're talking to them about your goals and this is a really good way to vet clients and you can get a good feel if this is the client for you or if they're looking for something else so that's another thing I recommend I do want to create an entire video on client consultations because in 2023 client consultations definitely changed the game for my business I'm gonna make a whole video about that so definitely let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that so let's say that you have a form on your website someone filled out that form because they're seeking your services you have a new lead and then you called that lead and you did a client consultation the next step is for you to book their appointment so when you're booking that appointment let's say you're getting their payment information you can use square to you know put a card on file or take a deposit that's what I use what you can do when you're talking to them on the phone is of course you're gonna get their location like where they're located because you're going to them but you also want to get them to describe their location so that can mean are they down a dirt road or is there a gate there have been plenty of appointments that I've gone to where it's like I was a little bit confused about where the location was because I wasn't gathering enough information about the actual location so you don't want to be blindsided if you think you're going to a certain area but then you have to go let's say down a dirt road or in an area Area that you're not familiar with or maybe there's a gate code you just want to make sure you collect all that information or have a way for your client to give you that information before you even do the appointment so another thing to note when you're in this stage of booking that appointment and you've collected information about the location to help with safety another best practice is to read them a cancellation policy so even right now in my business whether a client books online or they book over the phone or they book right there in person with me I read them the cancellation policy especially if they're a new client so I'm gonna read you what my cancellation policy says I also have a whole video on this it's called scripts that I use with my massage clients you can watch that too it's a really great video but this is a summary of what I say if I'm let's say booking a client over the phone and I'm expressing my policies to them all right so this says please note once you've booked an appointment with us it means that we have reserved time in our schedule to exclusively travel to you all appointments require a valid card on file canceling or rescheduling scheduling your appointment less than 24 hours before it's scheduled to take place will be subject to a penalty of 50% to 100% of the total cost of service. To avoid a cancellation fee, you must cancel more than 24 hours in advance. Now here's the thing that I want you to know in the cancellation policy. In the case that we cannot reach you when we arrive or we feel unsafe at your location, we reserve the right to charge 100% for the service and leave the location. To avoid a cancellation fee, you must cancel more than 24 hours hours in advance. I say that so many times in the cancellation policy because you just, you have to. So, <laughs> so yeah, so that is what is in the cancellation policy. So I recommend having that somewhere on your website, somewhere on your social media, of course, expressing it over the phone. If you're booking an appointment, just making sure it's everywhere in your client's experience. That is so, so important. All right, so let's talk about more best practices when it comes to safety tips for a mobile massage therapist. So I wanna remind you, if you go to a session and something doesn't feel right, or if something just goes outside your boundaries, it is 100% okay to express that, and you don't have to express it more than once. Even if something makes you feel uncomfortable, it's okay to express that and leave the session. Honestly, you don't even really need so much of an explanation for what made you feel uncomfortable but if anything makes you feel uncomfortable or you feel unsafe, then it's okay to leave the session. Another thing I want you to know, and I've actually been in this situation, I'll tell you the story in a moment. If you show up to a location and you discover that there's not enough space to do a massage, there's not enough space for you to move around, there's not enough space for you to set up your supplies, it's okay to say no and reschedule the appointment or make other arrangements. I'll actually tell you an experience that I had early in my career when I was doing mobile massage still, and I went to to my client and when I showed up first of all I see a house so there's a house but then I also see a RV so an RV a mobile home like a travel home whatever you call it so they were expecting to do the session in the RV and I was like okay so I went in and I looked around but I was like okay that's not enough space so my solution was that we just go into the house like into the living room and I set up there and 
that was way more space. So in that situation, I had to use my voice and tell them, yeah, this is not enough space. This would be uncomfortable for me. This would be cramped. It wouldn't be comfortable for you either and made different arrangements. Now, let's say it was only an RV and there wasn't a house, then it's within my right to lead that session because I'm not going to be uncomfortable when I'm doing, you know, a treatment for someone because that's not going to translate well into their treatment if I'm uncomfortable. So just know if an environment isn't the best for your treatment, then it's okay to say no and make different arrangements. Now to avoid this, you can also communicate on any type of anything that your client sees, whether that's over the phone or your website, your social media, your emails, your text messages to let them know how much space that you require. So this is going to be several feet around your massage table. So definitely let them know what's required, what's required of them, what's required of you. I've had some clients who thought that they use their own sheets and actually that would be a good idea. But just in my business model, I always bring my own sheets because I want to make it as convenient for them. So just make sure you communicate those things before you do a session. All right, so let's talk about more safety tips. So let's say you've vetted the client, you feel comfortable, maybe you had them upload a form of ID, perhaps you've already spoken to them over the phone, you took a form of payment. Again, form of payment is also a great way to vet someone because usually someone who may not have the best intentions, they're not going to put down a form of payment or pay up front for a service. So definitely get that form of payment and perhaps you feel comfortable and you're going to the session and you find that you have more than enough space to do the session. The next thing I want you to do probably even before you get out your car is to let someone know where you are. So this is something that I learned in massage school from my own massage instructor is just no matter if you're doing a house call even if you go to a hotel or you go to an Airbnb like wherever you go just make sure someone knows where you are so always you know text your location to your spouse your best friend your mom whoever is in close contact with you on a regular basis let someone know where you are so that's super important I did that for each and every session I either text my partner or I text my best friend and I let them know where I was or in some cases maybe be my mom who knows so always let someone know where you are when you're doing a mobile massage session now I do have an experience of doing a mobile massage and it's so interesting so I went to do this mobile massage so I thought I was doing the massage with him but it turned out to be a gift for the girlfriend and that was cool so you know she came down I saw roses everywhere that was nice I'm setting up but for some reason I felt so unsettled and so my anxiety was just up here and again this was in the beginning so I'd like to also note that especially if you have anxiety it's gonna feel different at first when you're doing mobile massage it's going to feel sometimes nerve-wracking at times or it may increase your anxiety I don't want to say that it will but for me that's what happened so especially in the beginning I felt kind of like anxious and so I was doing the session and so because I felt kind of like uneasy I decided to call one of my best friends and I was like hey can you stay on the phone with me during this entire session just to make sure everything's good so basically I muted her and she could hear you know anything that's like essentially going on of course not like client intake or anything like that but at a certain point she was able to like you know listen in and make sure that everything was okay and it also made me feel uneasy because more people started coming into the house that's another thing you want to make sure you know like who all is in the house and you can easily ask that it's okay to ask okay who all is here that's a normal question to ask if you're doing mobile massage and I've done it many many times just making note of who all is here just so if someone walks into the kitchen or walks you know from some room like I'm not on edge that is definitely a normal thing to do when you're a mobile massage therapist but I do remember they got like a caterer so they got like a private chef who would come in and like was setting up his stuff I didn't realize he was a private chef at first until he you know actually literally started cooking but yeah that made me uneasy so I called my friend had her on the phone all that stuff don't be afraid to do stuff like that but chances are if you feel like you feel the need to do like like extra type of stuff like that, then it's totally okay to leave the session. That's just an experience that I had, yeah. But as time went on, I got a lot more comfortable doing mobile massage, especially when I kind of narrowed down who my clients were. When I was working with anyone and everyone, it was like kind of just a little uneasy, I'll put it that way. You know, especially now I work mostly with women and like I, and usually I talk to them over the phone before I do a session, I feel a lot more comfortable to do mobile massage. And I know they know all the policies because we read it to them and they have to, you know, check off on it before we get started. So that also makes me feel more comfortable when it comes to mobile massage. 
lot, especially now that I have a team, I have to make sure that, that they feel comfortable as well. So those policies are so, so, so important. Another thing that you can do to ensure your safety is Ask about pets and all that stuff ahead of time. You can totally request that they put their pets away. I remember I had one team member, she's no longer with us at True Massage. She just did not want to be around pets, pets in the home, anything like that. So we had to let any client who was working with her know like, okay, put your pets up before the session and that ensured her safety. So she didn't feel afraid or uneasy or anything like that. So if you need to make accommodations for yourself, don't be afraid to speak up because more than likely your client is more than happy to make those accommodations because they want you to feel comfortable in their home as well and they want you to come back <laughs> to do more services so they're gonna make sure that you're comfortable too especially if they're the right client for you there have been many times where I've asked if they can like turn the AC down or turn on the fan or like different things like that you just cannot be afraid to ask for those accommodations there have also been times where I ask for a chair perhaps I'm doing a certain technique that would really be best for my body if I sit down so that's another thing that I'm not afraid to ask for. So you can also do the same if you're doing mobile massage. All right, so I do wanna recap some of the things that we talked about. So one of the first things is make sure that you're collecting leads, especially if you are in the beginning of being a mobile massage therapist. This way you can vet your clients. You can also ask them to fill out an intake form and ask them to upload a form of ID if that is another way that you would like to vet your clients. You can also look them up, do a quick Google search for them, especially if you ask them to provide a LinkedIn profile, that's another thing you can do. You can also be a referral-based business where all of your clients essentially come from referrals. This is really great, especially if you want to grow your network of clients, but you may wanna already have an established clientele before you go that route. Another thing you can do is just make sure that you're communicating your policies. I shared some of my policies. You can go back and replay that or watch this other video that I have where I talk about really all the scripts that I use with my clients when I'm talking to them. Also, make sure that you ask for details about the location, you know, are there street lights? You know, if there's any, you know, information that you need to know like that, especially if you're doing mobile massage at night, you may wanna know that. You may wanna know if there's a gate code. You may want to know if there is, you know, a long driveway. Like there's so many things that might just put you at ease when it comes to knowing what the location is. Another thing is not being afraid to ask your clients to put up their pets or to turn on the fan or just communicate with them about what would make you feel comfortable in the session and then also communicate about who all is in the home or who all is in the environment. That's another thing you can do as well as making sure that someone always knows where you're at when you're doing mobile massage. Now you can actually just share your location and keep sharing your location with someone that you trust. Of course, you can talk to your clients over the phone, offer consultations, and that is another way you can ensure your safety. And I think the obvious too is if you feel comfortable, you know, carrying some form of protection such as like pepper spray or something like that, if that makes you feel safe, I say do it. That is the tips that I have for this video. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope that this makes you feel more at ease because there really is a great opportunity when it comes to mobile massage. Like it's very much a premium service. So don't let your fear stop you from getting your coins. Don't let your fear stop you from getting your money. Like just Try to use these tips with caution, and if you can think of any other tips, put them in the comments below, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.